Hi everyone, I'm back. I hope you guys are well. I know it's been a while. Um, my first video back has nothing to do with thrifting and nothing to do with uh, vintage. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk about um, something I'm sad about. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I'm actually kind of sad about it. I, um, for you, many of you guys know, I, I am a voracious reader. Um, and so is my daughter. So I am actually rather sad to hear about the closing of the rest of the Borders bookstores. Um, I know there's Barnes & Noble, but I will get to that later. Um, but I'm really kind of saddened that Barnes & Noble, not Barnes & Noble, that Borders um, is going to be closing. Um, and I've actually talked with a, a, a couple of other people and we kind of feel the same way. And I think it's just, um, it's kind of a... I mean, I know it's a chain bookstore, but it's kind of, I don't know, an end of an era, the sign of the times that people are going more toward electri electronic media um, and, you know, you can upload your upload books off of Amazon onto your e-reader and that stuff. For me, I'm kind of traditional. I use both mediums, but there's just something for me about holding a book in my hand and turning those pages and the feel of the pages and that that you can't get from electronic media um, and so I'm kind of sad about that um, and the reason why I'm you know I'm sad about borders closing and go oh yeah well there's Barnes and Noble I don't like Barnes and Noble there's something about Barnes and Noble and I've been talking with this about with people too that I just don't know and I think um, some that I talked to put it on. It doesn't feel bookstory. Borders felt like a bookstore, you know, the way it was set up, the dividing into the categories, kind of like a library-esque thing. Barnes and Noble, everything is thrown in together. If I want to find African American fiction at Borders, there's an African American fiction section. Um, if I want to find African American fiction at Barnes and Noble, it's in the, 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 they're in the fiction section, and I don't, if I don't know the, an author, and I'm just looking for an African American fiction book, I'm kind of out of luck, and that's rather disappointing, because um, I like to browse, I'm a browser when it comes to books, and I'll go through the section, and if I see, you know, something that catches my eye, then um, I might buy it. I might buy it and go, oh, it's too expensive and buy it on Amazon or find it on eBay. But at least I'll browse. Border, Barnes & Noble's for me is not conducive to me browsing. I can do basically what, um, I can basically do what Barnes & Noble is doing on Amazon and I can type in African American fiction and it pulls up a big long list and I don't have to wade through the shelves at Barnes & Noble. Um, so. If I had my druthers as two bookstores going out of business, I would have preferred Barnes & Noble. Uh, I know that means period, people lose their jobs, period. But anyway, so that's my lament is that I'm going to miss Barnes & Noble to be able, I'm not Barnes & Noble, Borders, sorry, Borders, 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 Borders. I'm going to miss Borders. I'm going to miss being able to roam through the African American section. I'm going to be able to miss being able to roam through the travel section, you know, for U.S. travel and there's a section for traveling overseas. I'm going to miss that type of, um, that type of stuff. But anyway, that's all I wanted. Hope you guys are well. Hopefully, um, there'll be a new video, um, thrift related <laughs> coming up soon. If you have any questions or comments, please post them up at, uh, at the bottom. Thanks. Bye.